Hey guys, it's Swinkly. So I was actually kind of a fan of how the last devlog turned out, where instead of making a script for the video, we sort of just opened up the project and, you know, explored around and I showed you guys what's new. So a lot is new since the last time we checked in, and I'm actually really excited to show it off. So let's go ahead and open up the project and we can just take a look at how much has changed. So first thing you'll notice, our game is now called Lost Resolve. That's right, we did end up changing the title. Uh, as I mentioned in responding to some of your guys' comments, now that I have a better idea of what I want the theme and the story to be, I, I'm not going to stick with the generic name Pixel Parkour. I think that we want something that captures the theme of the game and has significance to the story, and Lost Resolve is exactly that. You're going to find out more information about what exactly Resolve is and, you know, how it ties into the story a little later on. But for now, uh, that's our new title. And you'll see when you come to the main menu screen here, the dungeons are grayed out. You haven't unlocked them yet. You've got to actually start a new game here. So even though I, I do like this main uh, theme that I've composed, let's go ahead and get into a new game. And then, whoa, like, looks a lot different, right? So character looks different. Where is this place? Uh, you've never seen it before. And you, you're also not prompted with like a ready and go screen, which kind of, I hope, indicates to the player that, you know, this isn't, you're not supposed to be in a rush like in a normal level. This is different kind of situation here. This is where you explore, where you get your bearings, where you're introduced to the world of Lost Resolve. So you are prompted with these little hints here. So uh, jump against a wall up to four times, introduce the wall jump by necessity to, you know, continue moving on. Um, so there's, you know, some nice walls here. You can really get accustomed to it. And then once you've sort of figured out the wall jump, you can drop down here and you do have a little hint, but before that point, let me just show you this. This is the Altar of the Lost. Now, a lot of you guys suggested that checkpoints should have some sort of visual indication, and this is what I have currently. Uh, if you die, you respawn at an altar, and you do find that out if you happen to fall off the map here. Uh, so I think it's nice to have a visual indication, and beyond that, you cannot respawn at an altar unless you've unlocked it uh, by going near it. And I may even have some sort of animation or sound that sort of indicates to the player that they've unlocked it. But so now there's there's no longer any wrong warping. You have to have touched a checkpoint to actually respawn at it. So then if you move on from here, you're prompted to do a slam. And you'll see we have a brand new breakable barrier with physics now, which I think is really cool. Um, so here you've got, well, actually let's just die. So the death is pretty much the same as it used to be. I have tweaked a few things here and there, but uh, same death mechanic. But now I, I think it is pretty cool how there's, you know, you respawn and you're like, oh, so that's what this is for. So now uh, let's try not to die in this section. And now we've got our tip about the dash, which allows you to cross, you know, this bigger gap. So it gives you a little environmental thing that you can use to kind of get it uh, accustomed to dash jumping. But then what I'm hoping is that people will notice, oh, hey, I can dash now. This looks kind of like that breakable barrier that we slammed through, even though we can't slam it. What if we, boom, and there's a, a shortcut that opens up. Now, currently there isn't necessarily a reason to go back here, but I'm thinking potentially this area could function as sort of a hub world at some point. Um, and that maybe Perhaps after doing the first couple of levels, there's a door that you can unlock here with the keys that you get in the levels, you know, prompting you to explore this way uh, and to discover more of this kind of graveyard type of area um, or castle that we're actually not to the graveyard part yet. That's coming up anyway. So player learns how to dash, wall jump, slam. And then, of course, we've got our final tip informing the player about the bounce. 
So we kind of reveal the whole kit here for the player so they know what they're doing. And then they can use that, that final bounce ability, just to get up to this last area here. And now we're actually in the graveyard here. This is, uh, well, it's meant to kind of stand out. I, like, you know, the landscape's pretty bare, and then all of a sudden, what are all these graves? And hello, like, what's this body? And if you go up close to the body, you're prompted for some dialogue. So I'll just run through that really quickly. All right, so your main character here doesn't really know what to think of this, doesn't really make the connection that this body looks pretty similar uh, to her own appearance, because that's how, you know, that's how it works in games. Um, but yeah, she discovers this body, and it, this whole area just has this kind of dismal, depressing theme to it, uh, which is kind of the tone of the beginning here. like. If, without spoiling too much, the theme is that your character has lost their resolve, of course, hence the title. Uh, and that resolve is kind of a metaphor for the, the passion, you know, for life and will to go on. And so you just see yourself here and you don't make the connection. But uh, then the journey becomes in the game just finding that lost resolve, finding that purpose and that reason to go on. Um, so that's, that's kind of just a very vague overview of the story, but I, I like it. I think I can do a lot with this idea and I'm excited to kind of write more, uh, specifically what that will mean. But anyway, if you continue on, you've got this long bridge and it actually like the fade out is dependent on how close you are to the exit. So if you keep going, everything just fades out to black and you go off screen, and then you spawn into your dungeon level. Now, with the dungeon levels, these aren't nearly as polished as I want, or as I'm trying to make the tutorial area, and I really want to go back through these, maybe completely revamp them or do entirely different levels, but um, I do want it to have kind of the sense that you're going low or underground after that section. Um, and I do find the transitions a bit abrupt, a bit too cheery, you know, with the music and everything after that dismal intro. So there's going to be a lot to work on here. Uh, there's a lot that I want to change, but that is going to be how you transition into the first level. So you just start in this really dark, depressing area here, and it kind of leads you into the beginning of the journey. Uh, you begin exploring the kind of action stage type of levels. You begin collecting keys. And that helps you to progress in the story and probably unlock more of this uh, graveyard, castle type of area. So I hope you guys like what you're seeing so far. Um, definitely a lot of big changes. I've spent probably like for the past three days uh, since I had off of work Friday, I've probably been spending on average around nine to ten hours per day. Uh, on this this entire like past three days so <laughs> putting a lot of work into it I'm really excited with how it's turning out really loving the tone and mood of this tutorial area and I think I just want to lean into this um, at least for the beginning of the game just you know this really dark kind of sad melancholy environment but then as the story goes on introduce elements of hope and resolve of course so anyway, guys, I hope you like what you're seeing so far. Uh, the I have updated the Steam page with the new title and with some new visuals. So be, sh uh, be sure to check that out. And if you're interested in playing the game, I would really appreciate your wish list. Uh, but that's going to be all for now, guys. Really excited to kind of show off these new updates and to get back to work uh, making even more brand new content. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.